Hey Gemini, how's it going? Welcome back. And for those of you that are new, I am so grateful you're here. I just want to take a minute and say happy Thanksgiving to everyone who celebrates. I am so grateful for this experience that I have been driven towards um, and everybody that has stumbled upon my journey. All of my fellow subscribers and all of you are, are new and I'm just so grateful for the entire experience. So happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. We are going to get right into this reading. The person you thought about when you saw the title of this reading and the picture. Channeling in their energy towards me. So take a, you know, take that deep breath. Reach out to your spirit guides. Reach out to the universe. Channel your person's energy towards me. We're going to pull multiple decks, multiple messages to make it as personal as possible. Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign reading for additional clarity. All right. I am still giving away those two free personal readings for the month of November. And I know that we are closing out this month within just days, but you still have a chance to take part. Um, if you are new, go ahead and subscribe to take part in the monthly giveaways, two free personal readings this month. So in just a couple days, I'm going to randomly choose those people to win. All you need to do to take part in any monthly giveaway is be a subscriber and I'll always leave you, I'll always tell you what to leave in that month in the comment section. So this month, it's the word grateful, letting me know you're interested each and every month, randomly choose those people. And then I always remind you the very last couple days of each month to check that little bell top right hand corner of everyone's YouTube homepage because two people will be hearing from me. December closing out 2024, multiple love readings I'm giving away, but I will announce that with the beginning of December readings. All right, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. So some of you could be focused solely on work, just trying to get ahead, reaching your goals. You know, maybe you're involved in taking multiple classes or just figuring out your journey and what you're meant to do for your livelihood. You also may be dealing with someone who is focused solely on their work and their career. You might have met this person around business or work, maybe even through school. Financial issues, all right? And it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Spirit saying it's time for you to focus on you. Focus on allowing yourself to be open to this. You know, feeling humble. To having love come into your life. I really feel that this person is coming towards you. Having forgived, you know, certain things in their life. Asking you for forgiveness. This could be someone that you're dealing with um, newly or have been in distance from this person. This could be somebody you're completely missing. And wondering, are they going to return? We do have codependency, romantic feelings, and express your love. Spirit is saying it is safe for you to open yourself up to this person. You know, what you're feeling, expressing those emotions to them. What could be the worst that's ha that happens? They say no. They turn you down. They're loss. They're loss. Remember, anytime there's rejection in our life, spirit is protecting us. Rejection is protection. You may not feel it in the moment that your heart is breaking, but you will see it long in the long run. Codependency. There's many things that we can feel addicted to. I always make a joke of it. I am addicted to if I love something, if I if I find a food that I like or there's a pair of like tights or leggings or jeans that I put on and then it's just like, oh, oh, these are the pants. I buy the mul I buy multiple ones. And my fiance is like, why do you take over every closet? 
because I have to buy multiple things. I can't run out of it. You know, that's an addiction. So that, you know, here, this could be someone who lacked a job, lacks stability. And cross watchers, they may, you know, this may re resonate with some of your Geminis. All right, let's get deeper. Sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. True bliss you will find in one another. So there is a very strong bond here. Soul union. So it could be soulmate. Could be a twin flame. You could be just discovering that this person is your soulmate. And that's why you feel it's so intense. All right, let's see. Yeah, the chaser. Did I not say that I feel like they're coming towards you asking for forgiveness? I don't know what I did to push you away. Was it something I did? Was it something I said? You told me you loved me and you've never felt this way before. Then why did you leave me? This person is coming in bringing clarity. I really feel I heard circling back. They're circling back chasing after you. I never understood what people meant when they used the word power couple. However, since meeting you, I realized how much positive change we can bring, we, we can create together. They've realized that you brought positive change towards them. You made them feel things that they weren't anticipating on feeling. Now, like, they're waving this flag saying, please, let's call a truce. Can we talk this out? All right, let's say the mutual energy between Gemini and this person. Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is a breakthrough that's about to happen. Obviously burdens, obviously responsibilities. But in traditional tarot, the Ten of Wands keeps going to peak the tip of that mountain where the breakthrough is about to happen. Yes, a decision being made. Taking themselves out of the crossroads. Now, what created this crossroads in their life? That's going to be different for each and every one of you. Was it the lack of a job? Was it the lack of their own stability? Were they living with multiple roommates to pay bills or multi or maybe even their family member? And like I said, take it how it resonates. This may be some of your energy. Children. Co-parenting, single parenting, divorce, separation that they may have been going through, you could have been going through. What was this that kept you both at this crossroads? All right, let's get deeper. Some of you, I'm almost getting the um, message of on and off again. So for some of you, it's like on and then off and then on and, and then off. And it's it's almost like at times you felt like you were each other's security blanket. But it's much more than that. It's a soul connection. Four of Cups, past energy. This person is not interested in anything else around them. There's nothing intriguing them. If you say, well, they're, they're dating, they're disinterested in what they're meeting. They're disinterested in trying to move on. They're looking at this situation as a fear of you being the one that got away. Present energy. Could be an earth sign. We also have water. We actually have everything here. We have fire, air, water, and earth. And see how it's falling right where finances and career are. They're working on their own stability. Trying to feel confident about what they have to offer to themselves and then offer to you. 
And again, like I said, this could have been around work or business that you met one another. I feel that the moment this person makes their way towards you and does that roundabout, um, they've really changed their financial status, their living arrangements, their, their own support for themselves. Nine of Wands. Yes, they are standing back up from things that they've been through. I feel that's also your energy. It's like two wounded warriors making slow progress to each other. The star. Wish fulfillment. Yes. There it is. Overcoming the, the Ten of Wands. Overcoming the fear of commitment. Overcoming the challenging times for this wish fulfillment. All right, let's get deeper. Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, Aries. All right, we did have the Empress that want to get picked up. Look at this. Yeah, they were stalling. They were resistant. Eight of Wands upright is obviously progress, movement forward, communication. They were stalling. Queen of Wands. Like I said, they're feeling very confident on how they approach you. Seven of Swords. They're going to open up to you. They're going to tell you why they had this fear of commitment. They're going to tell you what they felt um, a lack in. Was it their finances? Was it their journey of work? Stability. You made them feel like they wanted to do more for themselves so they could be that power couple with you. Six of Cups. Remember I said, like on again, off again. You may have even known this person as you were very young. The chariot, yes, there is definitely progress happening here. And the ace of coins, stability. There is no way, Gemini, that this person has completely, you, you, you still hold a place in their mind. You still hold a place in their heart. Are they coming to you grounded? Yes. Are they coming to you emotionally stable? Yes. They've worked those burdens out. Again, whatever that it crossroads is, they are working on that. All right, Spirit, please clarify additionally what is going to happen between Gemini and the person that they are channeling in. You got, well, I'll show you first. There it is, a change of heart. Remember I said restrictions, they were too reserved. They blocked their emotions from you, but also from themselves. And there is the confession. There is the apology. The chaser, the runner is returning. They're chasing after you. And for this wish fulfillment, we have the star and the nine of cups. They want to heal with you. They want to replenish what was lost. They are watching from a distance and they're about to extend themselves out of that bush from behind that wall. I love you. I love this for you. And I just said, I love you. And some of you are going to hear, I love you from them. I mean, I love you also, but some of you are going to hear, I love you from them. I love it. Remember, I'm picking up a strong soul bond. Not only was the soul connection here, but in the chariot, it is guided by yin and yang. Things got too intense for me and I ran away from you. There's that word runner. Let's be honest with one another. That's the ace of air. I don't know what to do or say after so many mistakes. Anything else that Gemini needs to know? Our best times are together, and I love every minute with you. Like I said, there's a part of them 
that has truly felt empty since the distance with you. All right, we have E, V, could be Evie, could be Eve, O, L, R, S, N. All right, take what resonates. Remember I said always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and especially your Venus placement sign reading when it comes to love. Um, go ahead and leave that word grateful down below. Make sure you check that little bell top right hand corner of everyone's YouTube homepage. Go ahead and subscribe to take part in the monthly giveaways. And like I said, December will be a brand new giveaway with multiple love readings. So much love and light, guys.